Hey, good morning, uh, Don here. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about um, using the Podiatry Practice Mastery uh, website. Um, basically, for those that um, are, are used to the word, um, the, the Podiatry Practice Mastery website is something what they call a, a lead, uh, a squeeze page. And if you go to that page, um, I made it, made it this way, there's only one option. Okay, and if you're if you're interested in marketing, you're probably familiar with this. Basically, the only option is to watch a video and then um, subscribe or sign up. And the reason you you do that is because you want the most amount of people to sign up. So, um, just kind of thinking about it in terms of your own website, if you want people to be added to your list, you only give them that option. Okay, if you want them to add to your list, your email list, or things like that, that's the only option that can have. And that's why up till now, I think we have 235 people that have. Um, signed up for the um, that I think it's a membership. So basically, on Kajabi where I make it, there's a membership site, and I've I've been tweaking with it lately. Um, and like once again, as my wife calls this, this is my hobby. So I've been tweaking with it in my in my downtime, basically between patients, and I'm trying to make it a little bit more robust. This thing that you guys all signed up for. If you haven't, go to Podiatry Practice Management and you hit the little sign up button. Now, if you, if you're already registered, you hit the sign up but button and it'll log you in. Now, on there, I've put um, to make it easier. I put links to the videos. Uh, these weekly interviews that come out. I put links to the podcast if you wanted to sign up for that, which you're listening to it, so you're probably already signed up. And then I also put in uh, mini courses. These mini courses are um, are those group sessions that I was doing, but n it was a horrible time, so we didn't continue with that. And then there's also um, other little video videos that I put there that can be helpful. And then there's a, a, a tab there for resources. So resources is kind of a, I call it kind of like a virtual junk drawer. These are all the best uh, places that I go and the things I talk about. So I have different resources for email to be more efficient, uh, marketing efficiency, making videos, pretty much all these um, tips that we're talking about in these individual sessions, I put them all in, in that in that. Um, resources or recommendations section. So I would like you to go check that out uh, and let me know your thoughts. And then within this, it's, it's a membership. So you can, there's a couple ways of looking at it. You can either like start the course and go through them one at, one at a time, or there is a section there that has like three uh, horizontal lines and you click that and you can go to the individual section that you want to learn about. And as I've been thinking about it, it might, that might be the best place to put these individual courses or individual sections based on like, let's say, um, a lot of all the content about shockwave if you want to learn just about shockwave how to do it how to how to do the, the practice management behind it and, and, and different resources that I found that might be helpful for you basically like a junk drawer on, on shockwave or on orthotics or on different types of things like this because we don't seem to have that within within the profession because you can just google around at different places but it's not all placed in in one place so I'd like to, to know your thoughts um, let me know if, if you could go there scroll there see what's kind of missing what's messed up um, my, my only complaint I know Jim's been, Jim's here currently we have a nice little intro video from Jim so I see his, his burly face when you log in so if, if anything log in and take a look at Jim's face in this intro video and we're always trying to tweak once again uh, it's very easy uh, and I want to share this with you guys it's very easy for us to get kind of stuck what I call and which Dan Sullivan calls uh, the gap so where I'm at with um, podiatry practice management is version 1.0 so if you're listening to this years from now um, we'll probably be on 2.0 or 3.0 and it's everything is always bad in the beginning and I, I just want to finish with that because if you try to do everything perfect in the beginning, you're not going to do anything. You're just going to be kind of uh, stuck in this paralysis. So I would say if you're thinking about doing some type of a, a marketing, some type of a, a campaign, something like a newsletter, something like a video, don't compare with others. Just kind of do it. And then as you do it, it'll get better. Okay. Um, in the beginning, it always sucks. I want to be very clear. Uh, first website's always bad. Everything is always bad. But if you never start, you're never going to get anywhere. So hope that's uh, helpful for you. I, I'd, I'd certainly love to hear some feedback, what you guys want to hear about. If you get tired of these rants, if you want me to do it in a different way. I'm trying to, as much as I can, on Mondays, put uh, this week in review. Um, those are where I'm going to kind of go over some of the visual things uh, as well. I can show you the best websites and the, the new things that are going on. Okay? Okay. Have a great day.